Hi, my name is Ben Modic. I'm a support engineer here at Go Engineer. Today, we're going to talk about the advantages of running shell elements inside of SolidWorks simulation. Many times, trying to get the correct number of solid elements through the thickness of a model is a burden. In this particular example, we can see the level of detail needed. This study would take a long time to run, and I just don't have time for that. There are some techniques that would allow us to run this study more efficiently, such as symmetry, but in this case, we're going to look at creating a shell element from the solid body. There are a couple ways of doing this. First, we could come in and define shell by selected faces. If this was a sheet metal component, it would bring in a shell automatically. Or we can create a surface body that's going to represent the shell element prior to making the study. To do this, I'm going to go back into the model. I'm going to create a mid-plane surface that can be found under Insert Surface Mid-Surface. I'm going to click one of the faces and then select the Find Face Pairs option. You can see it's going to place the surface at 50% or right in between the inside and outside face of this component. This component is two millimeters thick, so it should be offset one millimeter. Let's take a look. You can see now I have a surface body. I'm going to hide the solid, and there it is. I'm going to next create a new study. Now that this new study is created, I'm going to hide the solid element that I do not want in this analysis or exclude from analysis. I'm going to make sure that I have a thickness and material applied to the surface body. To do that, I'm going to right click and choose edit definition. This part is two millimeters thick. And because I use the mid surface option or mid surface feature, I'm going to click the middle surface offset. All that's left is to apply fixtures and loads, similar to my first study. and then I can run the analysis. That was quick. To compare the results to the solid study, I'm going to right click on the stress plot and choose the compare results option. I'm going to select all studies in this configuration and make sure that I'm comparing both stress plots. Let's take a look. I switched both units over to megapascals you can see here the difference between the maximum stress between the solid and the shell study. Further testing would need to be conducted with a finer shell element mesh to get an accurate representation of the results. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you learned something new, and we'll see you later.